Centre Drive, a totally new concept set to revolutionise shutter door systems typically found on multi-drop delivery vehicles. The result of extensive research and development and intensive long-term trials, Centre Drive solves many of the problems inherently found in the rear delivery door. Two experienced fitters, two hours, that's how simple it is to fit a Centre Drive unit on either a new build or retrofit vehicles. It is essential that the door tracks fitted are properly aligned for the door to have a smooth, free-running movement. Particular attention should be given to weld track joints, with all inside welds dressed off to ensure the smooth running of the door. To support the centre drive unit, it is recommended that a minimum of three additional cross members are fixed to the main roof. Following the dimensions set out in the installation instructions, the centre drive unit should run down the centre line of the vehicle. Once the unit's position has been established, drill and position. Care should be taken to protect the vehicle's roof material from damage during drilling. Before final fixing, it is advisable to temporarily position both the unit and the door. The unit must maintain the critical gaps indicated in the installation instructions, ensuring the door passes freely underneath the unit. Only three wires are required to connect the centre drive unit, but first make sure the ECS switch is in the off position. The first power cable is routed from the ECS through to the vehicle's battery. The red cable with a 15 amp inline fuse goes to the positive terminal and the blue cable to the negative terminal. Sight the buzzer in a suitable position within the cab and run the warning buzzer cable through the engine bay to the rear of the vehicle, fixing in place with cable ties. It's as simple as that. Once the power loom of cables has been tracked back to the ECS unit, they can be plugged into the unit's dedicated sockets and the isolation switch turned to the on position. The unit is now live and ready to be tested. Using the hand remote control fob, allow the system to perform a complete cycle with the shutter travelling the full length of the unit. No adjustments of the unit's electronic settings are required. When fitting the door linkage, first measure and mark the centre of the inside of the door and drill required holes using the fixing plate plate as a template, not forgetting a 28mm diameter hole for the pop-up T-handle. Now the linkage plate can be bolted in place, ensuring the cable grip is fitted to the top left bolt. From the outside of the door, position the pop-up T-handle and fix. The cam, complete with a cable clamp, can now be fitted into the square drive of the pop-up handle. The door rollers and fittings should be evenly spaced and fitted according to the door manufacturer's instructions. Having fitted all the necessary door rollers, the door should then be lifted into the door tracks and manually operated to ensure free running and that no fouling occurs. With the door closed and the shuttle position nearest the door, the linkage mechanism can now be attached and the protective plate screwed in place. To allow manual operation in the event of a centre drive breakdown, locate the emergency release cable protruding from the shuttle and attach to the cable clamp fitted to the cam. Ensure there is enough tension to activate the release mechanism. The linkage arm, lock nuts, clevis head and clips are all supplied assembled. So, just remove the clevis clip from the free end of the linkage arm, align clevis head with the attachment point on the centre drive, attach linkage arm to the centre drive shuttle, rotate clevis head and adjust using locking nuts to eliminate movement during use. Warning signs are supplied for live areas and entrapment risks. Before testing, make sure the door's rollers run free along the tracks. By activating the door from the remote control, you can now test the installation. The door should smoothly and quietly open and close, with the bottom door seals just touching the floor to avoid unnecessary stress to the mechanism. It is also worth testing both the external emergency release and the internal release mechanism, which will allow manual operation for the door. That's all there is to it. Two men, two hours, and you have a multi-drop vehicle which will deliver faster, safer, more secure and more economically.
Innovative, intelligent shutter safety. Center drive, easy to fit and easy to use, making deliveries faster, safer and more secure. A cost-effective system which will pay dividends for both fleet managers and bodybuilders alike, who are looking to give their multi-drop vehicles a real competitive edge. If you want to find out how Centre Drive can make your multi-drop vehicles more efficient and cost-effective, log on to www.centredrive.co.uk. For further details or to take advantage of Centre Drive support, installation manuals, videos and a dedicated sales team are all there to offer support and advice on the simplicity of installation and to highlight the key benefits Centre Drive has to offer. A fully fitted demonstration vehicle is also available, a perfect opportunity to judge for yourself just how easy centre drive can be. Call 01922 47 1000 to discuss intelligent shutter safety or request a demonstration at your convenience.